Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today we're doing a November 2021 plan with me. A November 2021. <laughs> it's the only one. It is the November 2021 plan with me. Um, today, yeah, I don't know. There's not much to say. I'm planning for November because it's coming up and that does tend to happen. Um, I, I rearranged some stuff in my planner recently what I've been kind of teasing on Instagram and I want to go through all of it in more detail in my November flip through, which will be in another like two, three weeks. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, my October is now at this tab. I have been, I don't know. I didn't fin fill out all of this. I haven't picked like one thing I've been listening to. Um, and then, yeah, I've been using the dated monthly for my shop, insert 14. This has been released for 2022 now. Um, and it's good. It's fine. I'm working on a bunch of new monthlies for to release in November. So I'll probably be switching this up next month. But for now, I'm still in this dated monthly. Um, but I actually this month remembered because I've been meaning to do this and then I keep forgetting and then it's already cut and punched and I don't want to. Anyway, so I've got the dashboard on the front. First of all, you can see it printed better this time because um, I figured out what was going on with my printer. Well, I didn't, but it fixed itself. Anyway, um, so I've got this currently dashboard on the front and then on the back of it, I have the monthly review, which I have <laughs> not used since I released it in my shop. This is insert 43. So I'll be doing this at the end of the month uh, where I can kind of give myself a grade and see how I did, how I felt like. The month went planning wise, productivity wise, and just generally in my life, some questions to answer about things to sort of move forward. So I'll probably do this like right before I film my December plan with me uh, to give me some ideas. Anyway, I just wanted to say that I did get that printed. I ended up, how did I do that? Oh, you know what? I formatted it myself, but you can, um, you'd have to do, uh, print two different pages because this one comes on the full page of it. Um, whereas this dashboard comes where you have, to, it's like modular. It's only on one side of the page and then you have to either print it on the other side of the page if you want it on both sides or that way it can just come out on one side. Anyway, so that's what I've got going on here. Let's just go ahead and do the actual planning. Um, I don't really have a color theme. I, I couldn't be bothered to think of one. Instead, uh, it's my birthday month, so I'm just going to sort of pick the colors that speak to me in the moment. I just grabbed some washi tapes that I happen to like. Um, yes, I was doing a lot of green this last month too, but I also felt like it was supposed to be more of a feel than a color scheme. And I suppose a few of my favorite things is the theme for this month. So, um, I'll just go with the washies that make me happy. I'm not sure if I feel like it's going to be a busy month or not. Like October wasn't, but... I, I had like one thing to do, right? Like at the beginning, no, mid-September, because I spent all of September like getting ready for my first, or sorry, my one-year-old's birthday party. And that happened. And then the whole time I was like, okay, well, I've got to start working on Halloween costumes, but let's wait until we're done ah, with uh, the birthday party first. And then I... Um, like the second October rolled around, I was like, uh -huh, I kept putting it off. And then I'd be like, okay, I've put it off for a week now. I should really confirm with Agnes, my three-year-old, um, that she still wants to do the, the costume idea that she said, because she keeps changing her mind for the longest time, like months. We had this plan. She was going to be Vanellope from Wreck-It Ralph. It was going to be super cute. And my husband was all like designing this little candy race car for her. He was going to make out of cardboard. Um, and then she changed her mind. Like, I want to say last minute, but anyway, she changed her mind. And so she was going to be, uh, what was she going to be next? I don't even remember what the next thing was. But then she was going to be a dinosaur princess. And then it was going to be a ballerina princess. And that's what she, we've landed on. But then the second that, like, I finally got around to ordering the stuff for it, she's like, oh, I want to be a fireman. It's like, well, no. Um, sorry. I keep telling you. Every time I ask you. Okay. 
So you're going to be a ballerina princess. All right, you can't change your mind anymore. But I probably said that too many times because, like I said, I never got around to doing the ordering. But she's going to be a ballerina princess and she will be happy. And my one-year-old is also going to be a ballerina. She loves to dance, which is adorable. She will literally, um, like, she knows which toys make music. And she's learning how to push the buttons on some of them and others she needs help. So, like, um, Agnes, the three-year-old, got a, a little birthday card that has, like, Wonder Woman on it. And you push a button and it plays this little, like, fanfare. I don't know if it's an actual theme from something. I don't watch DC. Um, but anyway, um, Bridget figured out that it plays music. And it's just a few seconds of music. Um, but she uh, kept, came over to me and handed me the card. And then starts like dancing to tell me that she wants it to play the music. Which I thought was very clever. She's so good at communicating. Which is why she hasn't bothered to learn how to talk. I think she's just like, why should I bother learning words? You know what I mean. And it's true, I do. She can say wawa. Because she's also obsessed with water. I always forget to say this at the beginning of the video. But this is one of those chatty ones. Uh, so pull out your cup of coffee in your own planner. Or put me on the TV. Well, you get some chores done or something because uh, I like in a perfect world to not have to edit any of this out in the middle because I'm lazy. I actually, if all goes well and nothing throws my plans off, I actually have a Sunday video coming up this week. I should let you know that. Um, because I was sent something to review and I don't want to throw off the rest of my video schedule when that happens so I'm doing a sort of unboxing first reaction video and then if I like the stuff I'll do another highlight video telling you what I like about it anyway just look forward to that all right it's a little dark unfortunately I love my mild liners but they are a little bit dark um I don't want to cover everything up. Let me see. I'm going to put a little, this is just sort of, it's just there, but I think this one will actually be a utilitarian washi tape because we're taking one little weekend trip here. And it's barely a strip of washi. It's like a little square of washi. And then we're obviously celebrating Thanksgiving. So we're not going anywhere for Thanksgiving, but I just have, you know, extra time off. So maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just use like a pen for that. This is basically the exact same color scheme as last month, which whatever, that's fine. So let's just say we're off. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Blessed to have an office job. Keep my husband in your prayers. He's searching for a new job because his is um, moving and without him. All right. So, uh, yeah, this is to do items. So I'm trying to think if I should like put something in the corner. Probably not. Nah, we'll just leave it like this. Simple enough. Um, some highlighter up here. And then I suppose I'll toss, I should toss this little, this got ripped, but I think maybe the little quail would be cute. So this washi tape, I should have said, um, is from The Little Red House. She has a Etsy, oh no, I don't think it's an Etsy shop. Anyway, she has an online boutique shop. She makes really adorable designs um, on different kinds of stationery and bags and I don't know, whatever. But she was selling some washi tapes at her booth at Comic-Con and that is where I got this. 
I was just like, I kept coming by and drooling at her stuff all weekend. And then by the time I finally got around to deciding what to buy, um, what was left was like this washi tape and this one little notebook I got. Um, and I was like, I'll come back next year. And then there wasn't a next year. Then the world ended. But I've been following her on Instagram. Oh no, there was something else too. It's in here somewhere. Isn't it? Yeah, this guy. This is also from her. So there you go. All right. Should I highlight this too? I guess. Sort of. I'm sorry about the framing. I have not perfected it since I... I don't know if you know I, I moved my camera set up. It's farther back on the desk than it used to be. And so I, I keep drifting. And I do apologize. I'm sure you've noticed. All right. It's time to do the actual planning stuff. Uh, for the sake of procrastination, I will show you my weekly setup at this point. I usually do this at the end. But first of all, isn't she cute? Look at that little cowgirl. We won a pumpkin weighing contest. Um, because we were the only ones who brought a pumpkin. This is the weekly I'm going to be using for this month, I think, or at least that's what I have set up. Um, this is insert 21 from my shop, um, split weekly. This is the second version of the split weekly. And I just decided instead of doing an amalgam of different styles, like I have been, um, I'm just going to use one insert. I think this will do. Um, I was really enjoying for this month and you'll have seen this already in my weekly plan with me video, but this is what I'm doing. Um, was using half of insert two, which is the first split weekly in my shop, and then using insert seven, the Alistair weekly. I like having the Alistair weekly, but I was really missing not having a specific place for weekend plans. Like for example, this is this weekend and I've got a lot of stuff going on this weekend, but nowhere to put it. So it's just here taking up space at the bottom of my weekly to-do list, which is already too full. This is a prototype. It's not done yet. Um, anyway, uh, let's pull out. So I have, I have space for my weekend here. I can put to-dos or I can put like events also. There's space for it. So that's what it is. Um, I have to pull out my future log and do the planning. It is, you know, we're, we're in the last week of the month and I have to start planning for next weekend. Um, let me see. So here's my, I'm still in this future log. I'm going to move to my own design for next year because, you know, I have to show off my own designs. Um, but for now, I'm still in this penis planner co fold out and uh, it's great. I love it. It's from her yearly bundle. Still totally recommend. You know, if you're not into my stuff, uh, let's see. So we've got Thanksgiving already marked that, but I guess I'll put it here. I'm doing Thanksgiving with my in laws this year. The evening that that takes up the entire, but it basically takes up the whole day anyway. All right, um, all seats. This means no school. Let's use a color for that. Well, no, I didn't. I didn't use a color for Thanksgiving, so why should I use a color for no school? She has school off. I was sure it was because it's a Catholic school and it's a holy day of obligation, and but um, but nope, it's because it's the day after Halloween. Um, whatever. Whatever. Uh, we have a babysitter lined up, so it's fine. Then, let's see. This is a mom's group thing. And we should be in town that week. I have this game night that my sister's hosting, so that's why we're going to go visit her and make it a whole thing and then celebrate my birthday early. So, my birthday is here. Um, okay. I don't know what this is. I put two. And, um, and nothing else. <laughs> I don't remember what now, right now, what 
that means. <laughs> what's happening on the second? I don't know. That's next Tuesday. I'm going to need to know what's happening. Oh, is that the dentist? I think that's the dentist. And I was starting to write it down while I was on the phone with her. I'm pretty sure that's the dentist. All right. So that's, I know that's at 5 p.m. because I always schedule those when I get off work. Okay. I, uh, let's see, I have my school calendars in here that are all folded up. Um, there's the main school calendar. I'm not showing you this on camera because I don't want to. Um, the main school camera calendar, uh, they had the entire week off for Thanksgiving. So here we go. Again, we already have childcare lined up. Thank goodness. Hey, here's a fun fact. My maiden name starts with S-E-H, and so I had a really hard time spelling school. Uh, like, if I don't pay attention, I will accidentally write my maiden name. Um, Alright, then, yeah, the rest of it, let's see. Yeah, that's it, I think. Uh, so it's half day on the 19th, then. Half day. Which means noon pickup, which means I could pick her up. Oh, that's nice. All right, I'm just gonna put that in the corner. Hope that I remember what that means. Um, and then, yeah, that'd be cool. All right, I don't always, I usually don't get to pick her up because I'm at work at three. Recurring tasks, um, I think, let's see. I just like went through that you have to go through this like once or twice a month to make sure that you actually move the stuff over and remember when you got it done. So that's the only thing. Um, let's see, change sheets. Okay. Oh yeah, these are the to dos. <laughs> these are the to dos. The weekly to do boxes. Uh, let's see, change sheets is the first week here. I appreciate that no one tells me I'm disgusting for only scheduling that once a month. And then razors are down here. I finally convinced my husband to use Dollar Shave Club razors like me, and so I am in charge of his razor now too. And I just, yeah, it's just going to be, it's a nice schedule. Oh, the 15th here. Twitch, which I've explained, you have to do your prime Twitch memberships manually, so. Let's see. Cleaning Fancy, don't really should say I have to actually do this thing. And then some charcoal bags, which I did look up and they're not really woo. I probably am not using them properly though. Like I feel like they should be in a specific spot. I just have them like, you know, on a shelf. Um, Right, and then yeah, I think that is that is it. Oh. Okay, I put the razors on here twice. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. So then the next thing in my future log section. Oh, I moved my library book insert here. Just yesterday actually. Um, because I didn't want to forget that uh, these things do have, you know, they come up. Fortunately, my library sends me like a reminder text the day before something is due. But it's good to know, you know, because if, if something's coming due and we haven't been reading it for a while, I really should just schedule like a plan to just go to the library and pick up new books instead. Um, you know, three new books or honestly go to the library. Should probably renew them anyway, because they. I think they might still be quarantining the books when you renew when you send them over. Um, we have to go to the library to get a new audio book sometime this week when it comes in. Next is uh, birthdays and anniversaries. I set this up. This is a new insert from just this last month. Uh, this is insert number fifty-five, so it's November. Um, so there's just me and my cousin. I know how old he is, but I don't remember what the date is. So I will find that out. I'm sure when my aunt posts on Facebook and fill that in once and for all. 
Um, but yeah, nothing specific. But oh yeah. That's the thing. Sorry, I know she watches this and this is going to spoil the magic. But uh, this is a tradition that my mom used to do. She would send her mom flowers on her birthday. And I like to try to do it. I don't always, but I'll do my best. And it's on my calendar, so maybe I will remember this year. Um, and then I think the last thing, which is not... See, I moved my library books section, but I haven't moved everything. Uh, my whole pregnancy section is still in the middle, and that has uh, appointments, which I'm not going to show you on camera. Um, I was just checking. I don't have any on the like pregnancy monthly to do list things. Um, so let's see. Doctor's appointments. I have one sometime on the eighth. On the eighth. That's a Monday at two forty. Eh. Okay. Yeah. I think I might take this day off and try to get my daughter to the dentist that day. Man, I don't like that. Because normally you can take off work in like two hour increments. So I like to get something that's like after three or before uh, uh, 10 so that, you know, I can only take off just two hours, not the whole day. But I think I might take the whole day because I do have a floating holiday to use. So I think that's everything that's actual planning related. Um, it's still a little too early to move stuff over from here, but also, also like there's nothing major that I haven't gotten done that needs to get migrated. Just weekly stuff. And there's things that go on the weeklies that never show up on the monthlies. This is stuff that I'm planning specific days or whatever weeks in advance. Weekly stuff, if it happens, it happens. And if it doesn't, it moves to the next weekly or to a someday maybe list or something. Um, that is the point of migration. <laughs> Don't always do that, but that's the idea. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you got something done while you were watching. Uh, thank you for joining me on this little ramble very early in the morning. Um, and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss my Thursday planner videos. I will see you guys in the next one. But like I said, Sunday, I have a Sunday video coming out this week. So I will see you then. Unless you're super not interested, then I'll see you next week. Okay, bye guys.